Hello all. Good morning and good evening. Welcome to BASP Self Learning Podcast. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you how to access your OBI reports remaining in Excel sheet or from MS Excel or from your PPTs or from Word using a smart view. In today's session I am going to show you all the hands-on activity how to create reports, uh, access report which are already exist in your catalog and do a couple of other options. So a quick formal walkthrough, a definition of it. The smart view give you a lot of flexibility through which people can remaining in Excel or MS Office can do all analysis. And you know uh, Excel are the Excel is one of the most favorite uh, tool for your business analyst. They like to play around with all the business data remaining in Excel sheet. So the, the purpose of creating a smart view is to bring all the BI functionalities remaining in Excel sheet. So one can create report, one can view, one can navigate, import, manipulate, distribute and share all the data remaining in Excel sheet. So let's see how to do this. The first step is to download the smart view in your local client. This can be done by two ways. You can go to your server, log into your server and under the server home you find an option called download BI desktop tool. So in case you are using 32-bit version you can download uh, if your operating system 32-bit, you can download Smart View for Office. However, your operating system is 64-bit. You need to download this from this URL. I've already, you know, logged into this URL. You can see over here. I open it, copy this URL, and you see there are two flavor of Smart Views are available. One for your 32-bit and another one for your 64-bit. So from here you can download this. Once you download it, you can invoke the executable files. The installation is pretty easy. Click on accept and you see you have got two version, 32-bit version and 64-bit. So this is a version of your smart view 11122310. Once you download this and you install this, uh, you can see a plugin, a MS Office plugin is available into your Excel. It is also available and visible in your uh, in your PowerPoint presentation or in your Word Word document. You see it option. This option would be available. The next step you need to connect to your connect your MS Office with Smart View, uh, and you finally need to connect to your OBI server. So what do you do? The easy way you connect go to your Excel. And I already have a couple of connection. For the test, sake of testing, I would disconnect all and create a new connection. You got two ways to create connection. You can create a shared connection and private connection. Private connection, as the name indicate, can be uh, it is stored in your local system. I would be using a private connection. You can use a shared connection so that it could be shared across. I use a private connection over here, and there's an option called create new connection. Click on create new connection and there are two kind of connection can be created one for your your high PN product like high PN space planning and financial management smart view through HTTP provider or you can connect through Oracle BI server Oracle BI enterprise edition I would be using Oracle BI enterprise edition and the pass and I'll pass this URL this is a URL one should know one should have in order to connect to your uh, your OBI server. So you see you have IP address of the server, the port is 9704 or the port which you have given during installation, analytics and JBIPS. Copy this and paste over here. Finish and you need to pass the credential. In my case it is WebLogic and Admin123. I'm using a pre-built OBI VM. Connect and you define the connection detail. So I would be giving a BASP demonstration. It could be any name. Once you create a connection you see you have got you can access all the catalog catalog objects which are available in your uh, in your OBI server. Primarily you have got two fol folders uh, in case you log in as a user my folder and shared folder. In case you log in as administrator you have got additional folder called admin folder. So this catalog objects are exactly identical to one you see in your browser. 
that are absolutely identical. So on the catalog section, all the folder file structure you see is exactly the same. It just a uh, you can browse through and navigate all the object remaining in Excel sheet. Right? The next step, once you have uh, access to all the catalog object, you can access any dashboard object like P word, chart, dashboard, uh, like tabular report. So in our example, we are going to use some simple uh, analysis or answer request under quick demos. We have got simple demo dashboard. Under this, you have got another folder called product details. In the product details, we have a set of tables, a uh, set of business, a uh, set of objects, and I can pick any one of them. Click on plus, and you see you have got two view, compound view. By default, when you create a tabular report, it consists of tables and chart. Compound view, in turn, a combination of table and chart, you can right click and insert it insert all object. It asks you do you want to insert all the object in the same sheet or you want to split across in multiple sheet. I would place all the object under the same sheet. And you see you can see a tabular view of your data along with the title. You have got two kind of data manipulation. I mean there are two ways you can drive, you can download the object into your Excel sheet. You have got Excel view and you have got OBA own view. For example, uh, in the custom group, I select my pivot table, right click and you see there are two options, insert and insert an Excel pivot. In case you like to further manipulate your data and you would like to make use of Excel functionality on top of your OBA functionality, you can use insert as ob Excel pivot. When I use insert, basically you drive OBA object as it is given in your OBI catalog including all the font formatting features can also be driven over here. In addition to this, you can also right click and insert as Excel object. The moment you insert an Excel object, uh, you see Excel functionality also pop up. I mean, you can also make use of Excel functionality in addition to OBA functionalities. So, similarly, not only for pivot, when you place your chart object, you do have two ways to insert it, chart, insert as chart in, or insert as image. So chart will give you more feature through which you can play around with the data. You can also insert chart as a image in case you're doing offline analysis or preparing a PPT and you like to pay equal attention in terms of formatting. So when you insert as image, you can basically retain this as a formatting. It's like a JPG picture. So you have interactive view, you have picture pictorial view you can pick any one of them. In a similar fashion you can access all the object right click and insert of the object. Uh, next example I'm going to show you how to create your own dashboard objects. You can create your own object like P word, chart, table, table views. You can create this view. You have option over here called view designer. A view designer comes up with some limitation. The first you have got different kind of views your data you can display in a tabular view using table, keyword and couple of kind of graphs. Uh, as it is a you know there are certain limitation it has we will talk about those limitation and maybe in a subsequent release those limitation would be addressed. For example I select table and I pretty much drag and drop the object which I want to prepare my in my answer request to my so I select product LOB product brand and I, it looks to me as if I can also place my object under column and under major I can place and measure. It gives me a misleading information. Under major I place majors and column I select year and in row I select product. So basically the kind of layout appears to me as if it's a cross tabular view. Although it's a, it's a pivot view, although it's a tabular view. So when I click on OK, uh, error message pops up to me stating that all the object which you define, all the column you define in your column section and major section would be moved to your row section, row layout. So column and column age and major age will be moved to your row age. So I click on OK and I can have access to my OBA dashboard object data. Right? 
you can do plenty of other things you can also apply dynamic filter you can display cross tabular view so in addition to the tabular view I like to further uh, create a cross tabular view so I go to view designer and I this time I choose a pivot view so last time I used a tabular view all the column I specify under column layout and major layout moved forcefully to my row layout let's see what happened in this case so I would choose a pivot and drag a couple of objects I'll choose product LOB brand and I choose here I select here over here and place on my column layout and then I select measure this is exactly a cross tabular view called pivot view click OK and this time the, the message did not pop up any data available in your cross tabular view and you see at the same time your Excel pivot window pop up which in turn allow you to play around with data so this is a nice and elegant method for your business analyst to uh, do offline analysis connect your server, download into your local system, disconnect and you can continue to play around with the data without over utilizing your system resources. Now there are a couple of other options you can do when you place your table and pivot you can in turn define a filter. So now I'm going to create a answer request with a filter option. So I use tabular view and I show the same thing with the pivot view and we see what are the differences. So I say product LOB, brand, and I select year. When I select year in column and measure in my major section and right click, you see there are a couple of options are gray out. I cannot apply subtotal. I cannot do anything in my tabular view ideally. But if I turn it to a title view, tabular view to my pivot view, I can right click and I can apply subtotal and I can also add a filter over here. So the context, uh, if it is a tabular view, the column and major section should be disappear or should be gray out so that it should not give me a misleading or confusing information that is not done in this release. Maybe in coming release, they are going to address this issue. This is the limitation which I found. Now I'm going to apply filter, say year equals to, I use the operator called is equals to, in is in, which is which turns out to be in operator. I click on this plus three dots and choose the year. So my view become a cross tabular view with a filter option. Click OK. So I got a cross tabular view with a filter option. So once you create an analysis request or answer request, it is possible to write back, publish this report back to your server so that it could be shared across and distributed to your other colleagues and your business managers. So whatever analysis you did, you, you connect your server, download your data, disconnect your server, do offline analysis. Once you're done with this, you can connect back or publish this request back to your server. I can click on publish. Choose the folder where you like to publish it. I would be choosing the same folder, quick, quick demo, uh, simple demo dashboard and product. I call this tabular view. Tabular view with Uh, this is a cross tabular view, sorry, cross tabular view or pivot view, pivot view with filter, right? Make a note the filter over here is for year and I saved under quick, quick demo folder. So once you save it, you can see under your catalog, you refresh your catalog and you see under your catalog the new request would be available new answer object would be available so you see the time if I look at time stamp this is my object pivot with uh, pivot with filters and pivot with tab product tabular list you have a two object I choose a pivot with filter right click and I open this is the one which I saved I can see pivot with filter for 2010, 11 and 12. This is data navigation. I can analyze it. Right click and edit. Right click and edit. And I see I've got pivot view along with the filter option on year. 
So you, your end user, your business user do not need to connect to your browser based interface and do any kind of query design. Remaining in Excel, she can, they can design all kind of you know queries and output. See, so my answer request got created along with the filter, the one which I specify in a smart view. Now the last option we are going to try, I'm going to add this, I remove this filter and convert this filter as a user prompt. So I want every time I process, it will pop me up the list of user values. So I would remove this filter and apply this as a prompt. So you select your year dimension and this time I choose an option called is prompted. Select your year and drag and drop in your filter section. So here I specify is prompted and the value of the prompt will be passed uh, to be passed from your smart view. So I choose an is prompted. Click on OK. And then I go to prompt section and create this prompt. So I got a filter called year is prompted. Then I go to prompt section and create a prompt for this. So I'm going to create a prompt on year. Click on this plus symbol and this will create a prompt on column prompt year. And I choose you can choose any one of the object, user input control, I choose a list box which is default and click on OK. Then I save this. Now finally I open this answer uh, pivot, with, pivot view with filter in my Excel sheet. Because I just now added a new object, I need to refresh it. You see your object should be visible over here under BISP demos. Login. It seems my send got expired. Uh, under shared folder, quick demos, simple demo dashboard, product details, and pivot with filter. Right click and I open this. A pivot view. So every time I open a pivot view, you remember we give we have given year as is prompted. Therefore, it is asking me, popping me for the year value to be inputted. I input 2010, and now I have data for only 2010. Seems to be some error. Let's do it again. Right click, insert. I pass in year at 2010. and I have got data for 2010. You know this way, so remaining in Excel sheet we allow your user to create report, publish report, uh, do off all offline analysis and finally publish the report back to your catalog so it could be shared across with your colleagues. So today was the first part of our uh, smart view integration. Thanks for joining today's session. Please keep watching our video tutorial collection from BASP dot com or our you or subscribe to our YouTube channel www.bsptrainings.com. Thanks for joining to our session.